Hey everyone, this is Dan with M1911A1.com. I've got another great unboxing here for you. This is a, another Mac 6 inch bullseye, another replacement gun from my stolen arsenal um, that was taken from me about a month ago. Uh, this is the first time in a long time since I've uh, moved away from my Rock Island Armory uh, go to. I'm, I'm a big Rock Island Armory fan. I've had Springfields, I've had uh, STI, I've had several other brands in the back in the past. and. I've always come back to Rock Island Armory. So this is kind of a departure for me. Uh, these Macs got great reviews. They're also a Philippine gun, uh, similar to Rock Island Armory. Uh, they're imported by Eagle Imports Inc. And you can see them at eagleimportsinc.com. And they've got a couple of brands under their umbrella. They've got uh, Bursa, American Classic. They've got the Mac, the SPS, uh, Grand Power, and Comanche, I believe, are the other brands that they carry. Uh, one thing that's interesting about the Mac over at uh, Rock Island is that it comes with the magwell, it comes with the uh, serrations on the slide, and uh, they're also supposed to be hand-fitted guns, so they, they leave the shop in a somewhat custom state. And this is actually the stainless that we're going to look at. I have another review for the the uh, blued version of this same pistol, and I'm a big fan of long slides, so typically I buy a long slide whenever I can afford to. Um, it just so happens I had some insurance money from being uh, ripped off, so I could uh, get a couple of these Macs in one sitting. So let's get started. This is a really nice uh, looking case. It's got kind of a funky font here. You can see kind of the uh, Logan's Run font, which is interesting. Metro Arms, it seems to be pretty well packaged. I just briefly looked at it when I accepted it from my FFL, so this will be the first time that we look at it together um, in a true unbox. and very similar to the blued version it comes wrapped in a in a visqueen container it has the sh shots fired envelope on the date and this one's actually um, back to 513 14 which is a year ago or so from today the trigger lock the pistol itself um, the instruction manual and again this case is very reminiscent of a Dan Wesson where it's cut out to actually fit the pistol in different ways uh, it's kind of funny with this foam backing there. Um, now when I did look at this at the FFL, it's a pretty incredible pistol and there really is a lot of attention to detail to it. Um, the fit and finish is really amazing on this guy from what I could tell. Uh, I love the grips, the scaled grips. Um, it has the magwell, uh, the bolted in magwell, <coughs> the extended magazine. This is an ACT mag that comes with it, and this did just come out of the box, but let's go ahead and do a safety check on it. Um, it is clear. You can see that it does not have anything in it. One of the things that kind of was interesting to me when I pulled it out at the FFL was that the, the barrels extended past the slide, which is kind of an interesting take on that, and it'll be uh, neat when I break it down for the first time to see how it differs from some of the Rock Island offerings in long slide versions. Um, I'm not a big fan of the giant billboard on the side of the pistol. I wish they'd do away with that and kind of go back to the classic Mac. Uh, when I pulled the trigger on this guy, it is unbelievable. I think out of all the 1911s, and this is going to hurt my Rock Island feelings, but uh, out of all the 1911s that I've ever had, this trigger is by far the best. I mean, it is, it is like a glass rod breaking. It's incredible. Um, my only complaint out of the box without having shot it is that it shows a fiber optic sight in the catalog and this is not a fiber optic sight and so that might be a replacement at some point. Um, again, it's beautiful, beautiful finish. Uh, it's a sub $1,000 long slide by Mac Bullseye in the 6 inch variety. Polished barrel. Um, beautiful gun. Can't wait to shoot it. I'll follow up once I clean it up and take it to the range and I'll have a report on how it shoots and uh, and uh, follow up with some of the targeting and other things. I also notice it doesn't have the, the Torx screws here. It has regular screws which is kind of interesting. That might be another change that I, I do right off the bat. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll have uh, a few more reviews coming up on some other guns that are replacement guns for my, for my arsenal that was stolen and uh, stay tuned. Thanks a lot.